This program is brought to you by Hometown Veterinary Partners. Learn how you can get on the pathway to partnership at hometownvetpartners.com forward slash vet candy. Hey, it's Dr. Deja, a veterinarian with Hometown Veterinary Partners. We're thrilled to partner with Vet Candy on this project. Want to know more about Hometown Veterinary Partners and how you can get on the path to partnership? Visit hometownvetpartners.com forward slash vet candy. Now, let's go over to Dr. Shannon Guaguar for this episode of Quiz Night. Good luck on your test. Hey there, I'm Dr. Shannon Gregoire, and I'm a graduate of Western University of Health Sciences, and now I practice in Massachusetts. It wasn't that long ago when I was studying for NAVLI myself. I totally get where you're coming from. I know how nerve-wracking it can be to tackle all of these topics, but I'm super excited to team up with Vet Candy to go through some quizzes with you. As we dive into this, I want you to be as interactive as possible. Drop your comments and your questions in the chat below to participate. We're here to support you. So if you ever need anything, just reach out. Now let's get started. Question number one. A two-year-old Labrador Retriever presents with vomiting, ataxia, weakness, and seizures. The owner admits that the dog ingested several pieces of sugar-free gum from the countertop. What is the most likely toxicant responsible for these clinical signs? Is it A, chocolate, B, xylitol, C, ethylene glycol, D, acetaminophen, E, warfarin? Now take a moment, pause the video, and think about what answer you'd like to choose. The correct answer is B, xylitol. Xylitol is found in sugar-free gum, causing a rapid release of insulin, leading to hypoglycemia. Symptoms include vomiting, ataxia, weakness, seizures, and can progress to hepatic failure. Answer A, chocolate, was incorrect because chocolate toxicity causes CNS stimulation, tachycardia, and vasoconstriction, but does not cause rapid hypoglycemia. Choice C, ethylene glycol, was also incorrect. Ethylene glycol poisoning causes renal failure, metabolic acidosis, and calcium oxalate crystal urea, not hypoglycemia. Answer D, acetaminophen, was also incorrect. Acetaminophen toxicity in dogs causes hepatic failure and methemoglobinemia, not rapid hypoglycemia. And lastly, choice E, rodenticide or warfarin, was also incorrect. Warfarin causes anticoagulation and hemorrhage, not hypoglycemia or seizures. Question three. A seven-year-old poodle presents with pale mucous membranes, weakness, and hematuria. The owner reports the dog has been chewing on pennies minted after 1983. What is the most likely cause of these clinical signs? Is it A, zinc toxicity, B, lead poisoning, C, iron toxicity, D, strychnine poisoning, or E, chocolate toxicity? Take some time now to pause the video and think about what answer you'd like to choose. The correct answer is A, zinc toxicity. Zinc toxicity is correct because pennies minted after 1983 contain high levels of zinc, which can cause hemolytic anemia hemoglobinuria, and renal failure. Choice B, which was lead poisoning, is incorrect. Lead poisoning causes gastrointestinal and neurological signs, not hemolytic anemia. Choice C, iron toxicity, was incorrect. Iron toxicity causes gastrointestinal irritation, metabolic acidosis, and liver damage, not hemolysis. Choice D, strychnine poisoning, was also incorrect. Strychnine causes muscle rigidity and convulsions, not hemolytic anemia. Choice E, chocolate toxicity, was also incorrect. 
Chocolate toxicity affects the CNS and cardiovascular systems, not causing hemolysis or hematuria. And now it's time for question number four. A five-year-old beagle is brought in after ingesting rat bait. The dog exhibits lethargy, pale gums, and prolonged bleeding from venipuncture sites. Which type of rodenticide is most likely involved? A. Bromethylin B. Cholecalciferol C. Strychnine D. Warfarin or E. Zinc Phosphide Take a moment now to think about which answer you choose and pause the video. Take a moment to think about your answer and drop it in the chat box below. The correct answer was D, warfarin. Warfarin is an anticoagulant rodenticide that inhibits vitamin K epoxide reductase, leading to depletion of clotting factors 2, 7, 9, and 10, causing prolonged bleeding. Choice A was bromethylin is incorrect. Bromethylin is a neurotoxin causing cerebral edema and CNS signs, not coagulopathies. Choice B, cholecalciferol, was also incorrect. Cholecalciferol, or vitamin D3, rodenticides cause hypercalcemia and renal failure, not coagulopathies. Choice C, strychnine, was also incorrect. Strychnine causes severe muscle spasms and convulsions, not coagulopathies. Choice E, zinc phosphide, was also incorrect. Zinc phosphide releases phosphine gas, causing gastrointestinal and respiratory distress, but not coagulopathies. Now it's time for question number five. A three-year-old domestic short hair cat presents with drooling, tremors, and muscle weakness. The owner mentions using a flea and tick product meant for dogs on the family cat. What is the most likely cause of these symptoms? Is it A, permethrin toxicity, B, ethylene glycol poisoning, C, acetaminophen toxicity, D, bromethylene toxicity, or E, xylitol poisoning? Take a moment now to think about what answer you'd choose and drop it in the chat box below. <laughs> answer is A, permethrin toxicity. Permethrin, found in many over-the-counter flea treatments for dogs, is highly toxic to cats and causes drooling, tremors, and muscle weakness. Choice B, ethylene glycol poisoning, was incorrect. Ethylene glycol causes renal failure and metabolic acidosis, not drooling and tremors. Choice C, acetaminophen toxicity, was also incorrect. Acetaminophen causes hepatic failure and methemoglobinemia in cats, not drooling and tremors. Choice D, bromethylin toxicity, was also incorrect. Bromethylin causes CNS signs such as seizures and paralysis, not specifically drooling and muscle tremors. Lastly, choice E was xylitol poisoning, which was incorrect. Xylitol causes hypoglycemia and hepatic failure in dogs, not drooling and tremors. Well, that's a wrap for tonight's quiz time. You guys did amazing. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll catch you next week. Have an awesome time and keep studying hard.